So welcome to day one of our Kilimanjaro trek with Wild Edge. This is going to be my third time climbing up this incredible mountain and here we are at Machami Gate which stands at 1800 meters. We just all checked in, we've got our food, our water, snacks for the day. Porters are now getting loaded up with gear and, uh, and then we'll be ready to take off up the mountain. So day one Machami route is heading up through the rainforest. Uh, it's an 11k route. Uh, about six and a half miles with about a thousand meters of climbing. Nice and easy day to get into it. Um, and we finish up at Machame Camp just under 3,000 meters. So it's a good day up into the primary rainforest. Uh, team are looking strong, team are ready. So it's time to go and do it. Hey! <laughs> day one of our trek on the Machami route and uh, one thing you start to notice on day one is just how slow and steady the pace is so on average you're walking around one mile an hour which to most of us normal walking speed is about three miles an hour so that does feel super slow and steady but of course this mountain is an endurance test it's all about taking it slow taking it easy our team are doing great we're making some good time and we should be in camp up at 2000 2900 meters for about 5 p.m. in time for dinner. So we're now about 40 minutes from Machame camp. Been quite lucky today and spotted a couple of monkeys on the trail. Some blue monkeys. You may also see some black and white colour bus monkeys. As we get up here, the gradient steepens slightly, but uh, yeah, still nice and easy. We've just reached Machame camp around about 3,000 meters and that is it for day one. So the team have done really, really well. And as you can see all around me, the, the amazing porters have raced up ahead, set up our tents. So we're now ready to go and uh, we'll find some nice hot drinks, rehydrate, relax and uh, get into our tents for the first night. Day one complete. Hey. Now on to day two of our Machame trek up Kilimanjaro, heading from Chame Camp up to Shira Camp, and it's just going to take us just below 4,000 meters. So today is the first day where we're going to start to feel the altitude a little bit, but we're walking through this amazing moorland, as you can see around me, really dense bush with this incredible moss hanging off it. So it's quite, it's, uh, it's all quite mystical, and it's got the sun coming through here. Um, a little bit of an African traffic jam this morning, lots of porters, lots of groups coming through. But the team are doing well, taking it nice and slow. And uh, pretty soon the views are all going to open up around Kilimanjaro. So we're uh, three, three and a half hours into day two on our way up to Shira Camp. And uh, we've just got through all of the, uh, the steeper climbing. There's a bit of easy scrambling on this day. Uh, although it is a shorter day, it's only about 6k, about three and a half miles, but still with about a thousand meters climbing, so it's still quite a bit of uphill. But from here, all of the uh, greenery has started to thin out, and now we've got some really amazing views right around the mountain. So have a quick break here, yeah. and then uh, take it nice and easy into Shira Camp. Nice and easy, nice and team easy. Team are doing great. Well done, team. Hey! Yeah. Good job. You're nice. doing amazing. So we're now at 3,850 meters up at Shira Camp, and the guys are giving us a very warm welcome. Uh, it's up here where people may feel the altitude slightly, but fortunately for us, the porters have sorted some hot water, hot drinks. We're gonna head into the mess tent, get some snacks, rest up here for a couple of hours, and then go for a short wander. Uh, and up here, actually, if the clouds do clear, you get some amazing views. Right across the Mount Meru, just behind us and to the summit, which is just over my shoulder there. So, it's another tough day, 1,000 meters of climbing, but uh, from now on, we're up at around 4,000 meters, and uh, this is where the acclimatization really starts to kick in. The team are doing amazingly well. Day two, job done. Thank you. 
So I just want to talk about the food that you can expect up here on Kilimanjaro. Um, it is something which tends to surprise people. You certainly will not be going hungry um, when you're traveling with Wild Edge anyway. What you can expect is really substantial breakfast to start with. So usually great big bowls of porridge, uh, toast, omelets, pancakes, sausages, bread, um, lots of fresh fruit, peanut butter, that, that sort of thing. So there's uh, something to suit every taste really and uh, it's a good substantial breakfast. Lunch times, that can be one of two things, depending on the type of day, when you're gonna be arriving at camp, you may have a hot lunch. Hot lunch would usually be soup and some sort of um, high carb meal generally, whether that's chips or, or uh, rice or pasta with, with some veggie sauce. And uh, there is also meat available most, most camps as well. And dinner is quite similar too. So you, you get in plenty of soup. Soup here is excellent and um, yeah lots of lots of uh, very nutritious food if you're very lucky you may even get some pizza one day uh, which which we did or some toasties some nice cheese toasties so uh, a bit of a home from home uh, food is great as i recommend to people uh, you may want to bring some of your own snacks can be useful to have things stashed away in your pockets on those days when you're going to be on the mountain during lunchtime usually you're provided with a bit of a lunch box with a sandwich some fresh fruit, some biscuits, some juice, that sort of thing. Um, so you're certainly not going to go hungry. The food is very good. And uh, I have to say that a lot of passion goes into it. And I'm very lucky to have found an excellent chef who, uh, who comes along with us on every trek and, and really makes sure that we're well looked after. We're now into day three of uh, Kilimanjaro trek up via the Machame route and today is all about acclimatization so we're heading up to the lava tower which is at about 4,600 meters about uh, 14,000 feet so today we're doing everything we can to acclimatize so it's doing all the simple things taking it nice and easy drinking lots of water uh, keeping ourselves well fed and uh, really listening to our bodies um, so it's a nice, nice gentle pace. The gradient is easier than what we've had the last couple of days. So we've got big expansive views. You can actually see the summit up behind us. The team are doing really well. And uh, yeah, the path's a bit wider here, so it's not quite as crowded. And uh, when we get up to 4,600, we're gonna have a nice hot lunch. Stay up there for about an hour, all part of the acclimatization process. And then we've got a nice, really nice walk down through a, through a green valley into Barranco camp, which is my personal favorite, a really special camp. So it's a good day today. All that acclimatization, making sure we take it slow and uh, working our way across the mountain. Day three, let's do it. Okay, just on the way up to Lava Tower on the final approach now. As you can see, it's all quite barren up here, almost like a Mars-like landscape, but the team have done amazingly well. We've got here in just over four hours, and uh, up here at 4,600 meters, uh, 14,000 feet, we're gonna stay for about an hour, have a nice hot lunch, get rested up, and then it's a nice easy descent down into Branco camp. So this is the hard part done for today. It's a big day, it's an acclimatization day. The team have smashed it though. Awesome work, time to get some lunch. We're now on our way down from Lava Tower. And initially there is a slight steep section down some scree slopes where you zigzag back and forth. But after that, it's a straightforward descent. And uh, soon enough, the views really start opening up down uh, towards Barranco Camp. And this is where you see some of these amazing trees. The uh, giant Lollibella, which we're going to see just shortly. It's a nice cruisy descent and actually good to get some descent in the legs after three days of uphill. 
So, next stop, Branco Camp. So this is the morning of day four of our climb up Kilimanjaro via the Machame route and here we are in Barranco camp, an amazingly picturesque camp, you can see it there behind me and uh, down this valley here if you can see, below the clouds way down there is Moshi which is the starting point of the climb and up above me you can see Kilimanjaro summit up there in the clouds just about 1800 meters above us right now. And uh, to start the day, we've got a, an interesting, an interesting approach. We've got something called the Barranco Wall. And the Barranco Wall is this sort of 200 meter climb up this rocky section you see behind me there. And you may see some of the people climbing up there. Uh, some people get worried about the Barranco Wall. There is a little bit of scrambling, easy scrambling. You need to use your hands in places. Uh, it's not very exposed. There's no particular risk and uh, the porters will be there to help us uh, help us uh, make our way up the mountain there so it's nice and easy we take our time uh, can get a little crowded so patience is required at times lots of porters coming through as always but uh, it's a it's a very very memorable part of the trek and actually happens to be uh, the favorite day for a lot of people so Barranco wall first and then an easy undulating day uh, maybe three four hours on the trail today to reach Karanga camp uh, again at around 4,000 meters. So yeah, it's a good day today. Um, one of my favorites and uh, a good acclimatization day after after being up at 4.6 yesterday. Um, so team are doing well. We had a good night's sleep last night. Everyone's feeling fit and healthy, ready to attack the day. So all that's left, time to go and do it. out on the Branco wall maybe, um, maybe an hour hour and a half ago since then we've been making our way across uh, hilly plateau and actually although it's a dry season as you can see there's been a bit of rain coming in so we've got our waterproofs on but in all likelihood it's going to pass in about half an hour or so so we keep moving and uh, one last descent, one last climb, and then we'll be at Karanga Camp, ready for a hot lunch. Happy days. So we've woken up to an absolutely stunning morning here at Karanga Camp. Uh, just above 4,000 meters. And as you can see, the clouds way down there below us. We're starting to get up and out of the tents. Absolutely beautiful, and then behind me, it's too bad, does it? So, uh, yeah, everyone's had a good night's sleep, and uh, as you saw yesterday, there was a bit of a storm, a bit of a rainstorm, everything got a little bit wet, but hey, this is the reward for that little bit of uh, pain for an hour or so yesterday. And uh, this morning, I thought I'd just give you a little tour of our camp just to see to see what the setup is like at, uh, at these Kilimanjaro camps. Uh, so there's all kinds of tents as you can see in the background first of all just here this green tent that is uh, that's the cook's tent so that's where all your amazing food is going to be prepared and i have to say that the food does tend to surprise a lot of people just how good it is um, and you really do get well fed over here big blue tent there that's the mess tent so that's that's where you and your fellow trekkers can hang out after your climbs can catch up about the day can read a book and play some cards uh, it's really nice to have that space to just relax and, and sit down and uh, and catch up with everyone. The size of that tent's going to depend on the size of your group. So have got a slightly smaller group this week, a uh, slightly smaller tent. Last week I had 15 people, we had a big dome tent, uh, but this is this is great. And then up there on the hillside, you've got the, uh, the individual tents. So you'll either be sharing if you're traveling with somebody or you'll have a tent to yourself. Uh, tents are really quite roomy and uh, yeah there's lots of space in there they're very good tents you've got a little porch area leave your boots in there take all of your kit off in there get changed get a nice setup get efficient 
uh, roll out your sleeping bag and that's where you can crash at the end of the day. Morning Rich. Morning. And the final tent on the camp tour is the toilet tent. So that's just here. I have to say probably the best views you'll get from any toilet. Kilimanjaro right there and uh, I'll show you inside. So there you go. You've got, uh, you've got a chemical toilet in there, which is, uh, I have to say, just about the best toilet you could possibly get on the mountain. Uh, there is a porter who specifically looks after the toilet, makes sure it's clean. Um, it's, uh, it's a real uh, privilege actually to have a, a clean sit-down toilet on a mountain, so that's not to be taken for granted. And that's it, that is camp. There's also a few other tents dotted around for the porters to stay in and your guides. Um, but yeah, welcome to camp. So now we're gonna have some breakfast, um, get ready for the day, and then it's time to head on up to Kosovo camp, uh, which is just past Barafu camp. There are two final camps before the summit. We're going to Kosovo camp, it's a bit higher, it means a shorter summit day. And uh, that is the plan for today. Let's get, get some breakfast down us, head up the mountain, and then, uh, We'll be one step closer to Kilimanjaro. So we're now just over two hours into day five, on our way from Karanga camp up to the final camp before the summit. And the team are doing really well. We've already just passed 4,500 meters. Uh, there's one last kind of zigzagging path which takes us up to Barafu camp. Barafu is the first of the two summit camps. We're going straight through there. Another uh, section to Kosovo camp, which is going to take us to about 4, 8, 50 metres. That's where we'll be stopping today. Team doing really good, no, no signs of altitude sickness. Yes, the air is a little bit thin, but slowly but surely, fully poly, we'll make it. We're doing good, Michael. Hakuna yes, Matata. Santa, made it. Hey, hey. <laughs> Guna Matata. Guna Matata. So we're up in Kosovo camp now, which is the final camp before the summit. And actually, the guys have got us an amazing pitch just here. It is the very last spot before the trailhead begins. That is it behind me, winding its way up this rocky kind of scree slope way up there to sell a point and um, on top of that ridge where you can see the, the, the topmost bit there that is the actual crater rim once we hit that point we then turn left you may notice some glaciers up there from there it's an easy gradient another half a mile or so to the summit so the terrain tomorrow it's not not super steep relatively it's a moderate steepness the ground is a little loose in places but we're taking it super, super slow. So where our pace has been around one mile an hour so far, tomorrow it's gonna to be around half a mile an hour. We've got three guides with us. We've got an extra summit porter. They're all there to look after us. The team are doing great. We're being well fed, well hydrated. Now that all that's left is to get up. It'll be an early start around midnight and go and climb this mountain. Okay, it's now 2 a.m. Team are ready, bags are on. Time to leave Kosovo camp, head up to the summit. Let's do it. So we're now at around 5,450 meters, making our way up towards Stella Point and uh, as I mentioned yesterday, it's kind of mixed terrain. We've got quite a bit of loose, loose rock, loose sand, some rocky slabs. Um, the gradient is kind of moderate throughout with a few bigger steps, but it zigzags its way up. The team are looking really strong. And uh, right about now it's 5.30, so we can expect the sky's gonna start brightening up. Hey brother. Hey brother. <laughs> uh, yeah, team positive. So we keep on moving up. 
Castello Point is the next target. And that's, uh, yeah, we've got about 300 meters left to climb. And then the easy stretch towards the summit. Just on the final approach to Castello Point and the sun is just peeping over the horizon there. Absolutely incredible. Some mystical clouds floating in from the valleys. But what a view. Amazing. You know what? It's things like this that make it all worth it. Now to push onto the summit. <laughs> Job done. Good work, Andy. Respect, Anthony. Joe, amazing. Cheers, bro. Still a point. Yes, amazing. Thanks, bro. Thanks, bro. Absolutely awesome effort, guys. Well done. Happy? <laughs> Thanks, bro. So after 900 meters of climbing from Kosovo camp, near each stellar point, and from here, that is all tough climbing done. It's an amazing work. We can dig deep on this stretch, but now it's all an easy gradient from here. So it's in the bag. Everybody summited, everybody made it to the top and back again in one piece. Can't ask for more than that. So the team spirits are really high. The guides were amazing as ever, very, very supportive. And uh, so we've got back down to Kosovo camp. Now we're having, uh, we've had an hour rest or so, which is much appreciated after nine hours on the hill and a midnight start. And uh, now the guys are about to, about to roll out a nice hot lunch. Uh, so we're gonna fill our bellies and uh, get refueled, get rehydrated and then head down the mountain to Millennium Camp. It's, uh, it's always slightly tough afternoon, but it means that we'll be at 3,800 meters tonight. We'll rest up well. And from then, we're on the home straight, back towards Maraca Gate. But most importantly, everybody made it to the top. Team Summit success. Can't ask for more than that. Amazing. Millennium Camp just waking up on our final morning and uh, we just got one last one last walk down to Moeka Gate. Uh, this is day seven so we had a good rest last night early to bed. Uh, nice early morning though and a beautiful morning bright blue skies. The camp is looking beautiful. Uh, so today we've got about a six hour walk all downhill. Uh, you're going to descend about 2,200 meters but uh, yeah you're on the home straight you've got some beautiful pristine white rainforest to walk through. So Let's have some breakfast, get fueled up, and then head into the final day. Mama, <laughs> 
Gata, 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 so we just went to the rainforest now on our way down to Maweka Gate. Uh, we passed through Maweka Camp, which some people stay in on their way down from the summit. It does mean a much longer summit day. Um, but as we enter the rainforest here, uh, suddenly the temperature, um, which was getting quite hot, you got this nice cool rainforest there. And of course you got the birds sweeting. We're on the lookout for monkeys. You usually do see some, some monkeys. They've got blue monkeys and uh, black and white colourless monkeys swinging through the trees. So keep your eyes peeled for those. Uh, another thing to be aware of, you are descending 2,000 metres today. Some of these paths can be wet, can be slippery. It is a rainforest after all. Uh, so a couple of poles can be useful to, uh, to just help you along. But it's a really nice finish. Everyone's on a bit of a high. The guys did a... Uh, did some singing for us this morning just underneath Kilimanjaro what a way to start the day and we've got uh, maybe two three hours more not too long to go now and then uh, we'll be ready for our evening celebrations we're now into the final stretch towards Mo Moeka gate and this is uh, it's actually a road for the last mile or so so it's luxury after uh, after some fairly tricky trails final stretch Half a mile to go, and then job done. Hey! Hold <laughs> well on, everyone. Respect! Thank you, Sante. <laughs> nice.